So if you use the internet, you've probably heard a lot about AI agents recently. It's kind of the next step after ChatGPT for helping businesses put AI to work. And we have a lot of features in Glide right now that help you build AI agents. I just wanted to show a quick demo. So in Glide, you can create workflows that respond to events in your app or events in the world. And one of our new triggers is an email trigger. And I want to build an agent that will uh, process resumes that people send to us when they apply to jobs at Glide and just quickly either move them to the next phase or reply with some constructive feedback. Something that makes this a little bit extra tricky at Glide is we have this mystery flavor position on our website where anyone can apply to any role at Glide, whether it's listed or not. So I want to create a resume screener that doesn't know ahead of time what roles it's screening for. And it's just going to base that, uh, base the role and its evaluation of the candidate entirely on the information they send. I'm going to call this a uh, screen resume. And I'm going to, this is going to work by receiving an email that's sent to uh, an email address that we've generated. And then I'm going to process uh, the attachments in the email. We're just going to look for one attachment, assuming they've sent us uh, their resume. So I'm going to call this resume. I'm going to start by outlining the agent before I get into any of the details. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the text from the document they sent us. So I'm going to point this at the resume. I'm going to call this resume content. After I get the content, I want to figure out what job they're applying for. So I'm going to call this inferred title. Uh, I'm not going to configure it yet. I'm just going to lay these out. Um, after I infer the title, I want to come up with some grading criteria for the resume. Like I want to figure out for that title, how should we determine what a good candidate looks like? After that, I'm actually going to uh, evaluate evaluation. I'm going to take the grading criteria for the job. I'm going to actually evaluate their resume to get a score. I'm going to extract the score uh, using AI as well. I'm going to look at the whole report that the AI has generated, just, just get a final number. And then finally, based on the score, I'm going to uh, use a condition. So I'm going to say if the score is like less than 75, uh, I'll do one thing. Otherwise, I'll do another. And if it's less than 75, I'm going to send them an email thanking them for their application. And otherwise, I'll send them a different email to schedule some time. So I'll call this uh, schedule time and I'll call this reject kindly. Okay. So now I have this outline and now it's time to make it real. So we are already extracting the content from the resume, whether they send us a PF or you know, a Word document. So now we want to infer the title. You're reviewing applications for any given role at our company. You need to read the resume from the candidate and you need to infer what role they're applying for. A good example, you know, senior software engineer. Only output the role that you've determined and nothing else. And uh, to configure this, we're going to point it at the resume content. So this AI step is going to read the resume, follow those instructions, and just output to the role that they're going to apply for. Now we need to come up with a grading criteria. You are an expert recruiter helping us create our decision process for evaluating candidates applying to Glide. Given a title of a role at Glide, I need you to come up with step-by-step -step instructions for evaluating the resume of someone applying for that job. These instructions should outline how to score the resume on a scale of 1 to 100. Great. And we're going to give the inferred title. So what this is going to do is going to take the title that we've gleaned from the resume and we're going to come up with a plan for how we're going to evaluate whether or not they're a good candidate. Now we need to actually evaluate them. So I'm going to say, you are a recruiter working at Glide, evaluating someone for the role of X. Use the grading criteria here to score their resume on a scale of 1 to 100. Okay, your recruiter, 1 to 1. The role, I'm going to actually put the inferred title. So the instructions are going to say you're evaluating uh, for the role of software engineer, for example. And then we need to put the grading criteria. So that's going to put the whole process that the AI has come up with for deciding whether someone's a great engineer or a great marketer. And for the input, I'm going to give them the resume content. And then finally, I'm going to say extract the final score from the analysis. And I'm going to give it the evaluation. So it'll look at this long document that the AI writes going through their resume step by step. And this is just going to get the score out. And now we're going to say if the score is uh, less than 75, we're going to kindly reject them. So I'll just say to the person who sent it to us, subject your application to Glide, and I'll just say, I'm sorry, after re reviewing your resume, we don't think you're a great fit for, we'll just send that to them. Otherwise, we want to schedule a time. And uh, to schedule a time, I'm, I want to put one more step in here. I actually want the AI to help us write the email. So I'll say, this person uh, from name has just applied for a job at Glide. Enroll. Uh, and so we'll say this person has applied. Here's their title. We want to talk to them. Here's why, and we'll put the evaluation in that says why they're a great candidate. Write an email from David, our CEO, asking to book time with his calendar link. I'll say, use the evaluation we did of their fit for the role to include a very positive detail that impressed us from their resume. And I'll say, only output the body of the email and nothing else. And uh, for input, I can put, uh, I'll actually put the evaluation in here. Great. Okay. And we'll call this uh, email body. And uh, for the body, I'll give it the email body. And two, we want the person who sent it to us from email. And we'll say your, your application for inferred title at Clyde. Great. So that's it. 
took a little bit of a configuration, but this is an AI agent that's going to receive emails uh, from people who want to work at our company for any given role. It's going to evaluate them for any given role. And then it's either going to tell them that they're not a fit or it's going to schedule some more time with them. So let's test it. So I'll grab this email address and I'm going to write an email to the agent. Uh, I'll call it application. I've attached a resume that someone actually used applying for this mystery position and we'll send it to Glide. Here we can see that we've received the email and it's processing right now. So we see it completed in 36 seconds. Let's go check my inbox. Your application for vice president of sales at Glide. Hi, Katie. I hope this message finds you well. Remarkable track record of achieving 89% year over year growth at one of her previous companies and uh, sending her time to connect. This is actually how our new VP of sales, Katie, applied to Glad <laughs> by applying to this open-ended role. This agent would help make sure that we get time with her because we get a lot, a lot of people coming through this uh, front door. And you can see uh, the history of the agent, how it made all of its decisions, how it inferred the title by looking at her resume and uh, inferring vice president of sales, for example, how it scored. And what you'd want to do is save all these judgments in an interface where your hiring team could have visibility and could even approve these emails before they go out. But that's just an example of the, the powerful agentic workflow that you can build in Glide today.